Now you've probably heard that wholesaling is the most common way to get into real estate investing. Now, yes, while it's the most common, it is not the simplest. The simplest way to get into real estate investing, wait for it, is by selling money. Selling money is the lowest barrier of entry into real estate investing. Now you often hear people tell you how to go about buying a house with no money down or money from a credit card or grandpa's money or retirement money, no money out of your pocket, et cetera, et cetera. But notice it all stems around one thing, money. You don't go to the title company with spices and furs bartering for deeds. At some point, money will be transacted. In this education series, I'm going to teach you not only how to monetize the primary thing that's needed for each transaction, the money, I'm also going to teach you how to start, grow, and scale your personal real estate portfolio by hacking private money. So yes, that is correct. The easiest way to get into real estate investing is by selling money. So now, the first thing that a lot of people ask me, if this is the easiest thing to do, why has no one promoted this? Why is this not a strategy that's commonly used? And my answer to that is, good question. I'm here to give you the best kept secret. Why you wanna be the person selling money is simply this. The entire transaction revolves around you, the money person. When you are the lender in the transaction, of course, your buyer or the borrower is gonna be speaking to you throughout the entire process. Any information you wanna get from the borrower, they will disclose. Especially sellers who are sellers that are in the business as actual wholesalers or high volume sellers, a seller always wants an additional outlet to refer potential buyers for a lender that they've closed a deal with. So you'd be surprised about how many relationships are created between a lender and a seller when a lender has closed a deal, especially if that deal is difficult. Also, keep in mind the people that the lender or the money person interacts with in a single transaction, the title company. The title company will want you to refer them business as a lender. So of course, when you meet someone who is a title company or a title agent, they're gonna say, hey, you should use our title services. When you meet an insurance company, they're gonna want you to refer people to their insurance company. So the people you're giving loans to, they're gonna say, hey, tell your borrowers to let us give them a, the, the next insurance quote. Real estate agents are going to want to, for you to refer them to business for any investor that's looking for deals or deals they may have access to. Conversely, all of these people wanna have additional resources or outlets for money. So you as the money person, you as the person selling the money, every single person in the transaction has a reason not only to get to know you, but potentially want to do business with you, whether it's for you sending them business or them sending you business. When you are the person selling the money, in five minutes, you can walk into any conversation and truly control that conversation. You will have everyone's ear because everyone is always interested in new opportunities or new outlets for money. Just think about that for a moment. How many times have you met a lender or someone who is a capital provider and they didn't have your ear for at least a moment or two? When you are the person that has the money, at some point you will be able to command the entire room. In this education series, I'm gonna teach you how to do just that. I'm gonna teach you how to create a relationship with every single person involved in the transaction. I'm gonna teach you how to monetize every single relationship in that transaction. We're also gonna be discussing how to create your identity in the space. We're gonna talk about building your foundation, how to establish your business, how to tap into your moral compass. Now let me pause real quick and explain this. In this industry, the people you're talking to are going to trust you with their most personal information, social security numbers, date of births, bank statements, etc. If you ever have questioned your integrity or your moral compass, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not the education series for you. The people who are gonna be working with you, the buyers or the borrowers who are entrusting you to help fund their deal, they're going to disclose everything about themselves to you. You are going to have people's most personal information and this is not something that is to be taken lightly. 
if you at all have any inkling to do something creative, if you feel you wanna try to operate in the gray with someone's personal information, please do not continue with this education series. In this education series, you must dial in to your moral compass. You must be willing to operate with integrity. You must be willing to make every conversation truthful, not to mislead, not to misrepresent. You gotta be ready to tap into the most truest version of the integrity that lives within you. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself in a situation that may blow back on you in a very bad way, not just from a reputational standpoint, but possibly from a legal standpoint. So I would be doing you a disservice if I did not mention, if you are getting into the space where you're providing money from people, you're gonna get personal information from them Please make sure that there are no issues in the way you operate, the legitimacy of how you operate. And if there is, please turn this education series off now because this is not something that is going to serve you well in the short or long run. Now that I had to get all the legal stuff out of the way, let's jump back into it. Again, as part of this education series, I'm going to teach you about setting up the business. And I'm talking about from your entity name, how to get you registered at the state level and get your entire business set up top to bottom. We're then going to talk about legitimizing your operation, making sure that you have a website, you have an email address, making sure that your business name and everything lines up and is respectable. We're gonna make sure that you don't create no silly ass name like Get This Bread LLC. We're not doing any of that. We'll make sure that your operation is something that anyone, no matter who you meet, is gonna to wanna to do business with. We're then gonna tap into the things that you need to do in regards to knowing your market, how to go about knowing your product, and more importantly than most, understanding the process. We're gonna create a specific marketing plan. I'm also going to teach you how to understand and more importantly, navigate the conversations. And this is where the meat and potatoes is. I'm going to teach you how no matter what the conversation starts, middles or ends with, how to position yourself to be a point of contact, how to position yourself to be a point of reference and how to position yourself to make money off of the other people's efforts because you are the person that the money is coming from. We're gonna discuss how to house your deals and manage your pipeline, and then what's needed from a consistency and communication standpoint to make sure that you're not losing business for nothing more than inconsistency or extended communication. We're then gonna jump into the application of it all, committing to a goal, how to perfect the process, how to grow the business, how to scale your operation, and ultimately, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own money shop. That's right. If you decide that this is for you, you love what's happening, you see the ease of use of it, I'm actually gonna teach you how to start by selling money and walk you through all the way to you becoming a money shop yourself. That's what you're gonna get in this education series. I'm then gonna teach you how to master your craft, how to control the conversation, the things that you should do to make sure the conversation goes exactly how you want. And I'm gonna tell you right now, no matter who I speak to, I always know based on how they introduce themselves or what function they serve in real estate investing, I know exactly how the conversation is gonna start, go and end because I've learned how to control the conversation and I'm gonna be teaching you how to do just that. And of course, the way I'm gonna teach you how to control the conversation is I'm gonna teach you how to master your elevator pitch, how to pitch on the fly, how to pitch your product, how to go about answering questions, and then how to go about positioning yourself as the point of posing the questions to qualify the scenarios. I'm then going to walk you through how to navigate the ultra sophisticated borrower. I'm going to teach you how to navigate the conversations that are happening at 10 and $20 million, how to deal with the JVs and these very creative ways that people who are doing 10, 15, $20 million deals are doing. I'm going to teach you not only how to navigate that conversation, but how to quarterback and provide value. So those people know that you are the right person to get 10, 20 million, $30 million from. And I'm going to tell you, once we get there, that's when you be surprised at how creative these sophisticated investors get, and I'm gonna teach you how to navigate that at the lowest level. And finally, at the end of this series, I'm going to teach you how to take everything that you've learned, how to take everything that you're applying, 
how to make money on doing that, which is going to be great. But then I'm also going to teach you how to use that to hack private money to start growing scale your own personal portfolio if you desire. In this smart money blueprint, not only are you going to learn how to make money selling money, you're going to learn how to hack private money to grow your own personal portfolio. So when I tell you in this series, we're rolling our sleeves up and getting busy. I mean, just that grab a pen and paper, grab your tablet, grab whatever you're going to do to take notes on, because in this education series, there are over 30 hours of content that we're going to go through. There's going to be quizzes. There's going to be exams. There's going to be scripts. There's going to be documents. There's going to be every single thing that you need to be successful. And I'm going to walk you through every single thing, top to bottom. And I'm going to see you in the modules. Thank <laughs> you.